Okay, I want to tell you about the problems I had with the video capture card and uh, trying to get Zoom and uh, OBS running. Actually, to tell you the truth, uh, Zoom is very easy to implement. If you were given a choice between Zoom and OBS, go for Zoom. Okay, unless you want to do some recording of your videos while it's on your PC with the, uh, and you're not streaming, right? But if you're having meetings and all that, go for Zoom, please. Zoom is so much easier to use. I bought a video capture card because my camera is a Sony Alpha 5100 and it cannot connect directly to my computer to capture the video to go to Zoom. For Zoom to send it out to all my all the participants in the group or even for that matter for uh, OBS and I found out for the next three or four months this stupid card wouldn't work this video capture card wouldn't work with my computer and uh, it some it will insist that it couldn't detect the USB port or the USB video all sorts of numbers. With Zoom, all I do is plug it in and it's detecting and it's recording. And I'm on, my group meeting is live and working with, the, with my camera. Uh, uh, if you are using OBS, you'll find that uh, you can, you don't want to have any problems, don't use a camera, use your webcam. If your webcam is poor quality, you will get poor quality pictures in, in your group meeting. Poor quality is good if you don't want to be recognized and don't want people to know who you are. Then poor quality images is good. Uh, maybe you are there to complain about something in the meeting and you don't want people to know who you are or what you look like. It's a much better way using poor quality imaging. But if you want to be identified, you want to be known, you want people to have a clear view of you, number one, uh, try not to use a webcam. Uh, try using a good uh, camera. My Sony Alpha 5100 is, is okay, but the quality is not that much better than... Uh, webcam camera when I'm using the video capture card so I would suggest that you use a better camera if you want really good images and uh, fake it OBS la, huh? it's not worth it OBS not worth it the trouble I've been through the last three four months five months six months I so many difficulties I just cannot get it. In the end, I'll show you. I got it running with Windows 8.1. Okay, no problem. It runs okay. Uh, OBS version 26. But when I installed it on my Acer Nitro 5 with Windows 10, I had no end of problems. It's so finicky. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't work. Most of the time, it doesn't work. Zoom, no problem. I just plug in the USB card, video card, and it's recording. Uh, so, my advice to you is, if you're using a webcam, you can use either one. But if you're using a camera, you want better quality pictures, people to clearly see what you look like, use a camera. A reasonably good camera anyway uh, what I wanted to tell you is uh, you will end up struggling if you want good quality pictures with OBS let me show you what the things I've done and then you will realize zoom is far superior okay and that is my video capture card for the older Sony cameras you will need a video capture card uh, this is from China and it's working quite well. The first few months it didn't work. And uh, for some reason, after 
plugging in Zoom, it started working. It wouldn't work with OBS. Uh, I don't know why, and nobody has been able to solve it. But it's working with Zoom. This is my 10 year old Samsung laptop running Windows 8.1. And I am running OBS on it to show you it can be connected without any problems. Here is the video capture from my camera and that is a 12 inch monitor that I use to see and check what I am recording. And this is my Sony Alpha 5100 camera for making videos. And I'm using the video capture card to record the output, HDMI output from my ca Sony camera to the computer to my OBS or Zoom uh, software. As you can observe, I don't have problems recording or using OBS on Windows 8.1 and on this old 10 year old Samsung laptop, no problems at all. Now I'm using zoom and the image is coming through my camera through the video capture card. The auto detection in Zoom is very easy. You see, I just plugged it in and that's all I needed to do. And you can see it's selected the USB video. Now I'm switching over to my Acer Nitro 5. It's a gaming uh, laptop and it's running Windows 10. And I'm going to run uh, Zoom on it to see how it reacts. I accidentally knocked some of the cables, so I lost the image. So I'm just trying to reconnect back, make sure all the cables are plugged in properly, uh, take them out and plug them back in. And uh, uh, hopefully that will bring back the image. It's a nuisance, isn't it? But that's what happens when you're buying cheap stuff from China. The HMI a video capture card with audio cost me about 10 US dollars, about 45 ringgit. So it's nothing really I can complain about it for using cheap stuff. See my video is back, uh, Zoom is working and uh, now we can have a meeting. I tried to install uh, OBS and I really struggled with it and it wasn't working, it wasn't picking up the audio signal, video signal and I really struggled. I think I spent about one, two hours trying to get it to work and then, and it didn't work. It's just horrid. I went even into the Windows settings and checked the graphics settings and made sure it is uh, not, not using my GPU so that wouldn't clash internally. I struggled at it. I struggled at uh, getting OBS working on Windows 10. I don't know, there's some stupidity going on on either in Windows 10 or OBS and each one wants to be smarter than the other and trying to be more secure until they can't work. And I don't know whether it is related to this Acer Nit Nitro Five gaming PC. Whether this uh, problem, I know there are problems with this uh, Acer Nitro Five, but I don't know whether this also is contributing to the problems of the OBS, right? So I, I actually, I, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out where, what was the problem, and where I was coming, what was giving me problems. I checked the YouTube, internet, everywhere, and I found. Everyone was coming back with the same problem, black screen, uh, graphics, black screen, go back to graphics setting and change the setting. And then one day I got so fed up, I said, they are talking rubbish for my system. This doesn't work. This is not the solution. Then I found someone on YouTube who had a very good explanation. And he said, 
his YouTube video, How to Fix OBS Game Capture Black Screen 2020. Go and check it out. It will help you a lot. And he found out, the guy's name is Creepers, okay? Go and subscribe to his uh, channel and uh, uh, you will probably find a lot more good, useful information from him. And he found out that OBS version 26 is does not work. You have to go back to version 24. When you implement version 24, a lot of things in OBS will start to work. So that's what I did. When I implemented, I uninstalled OBS 26, deleted all the, the, the OBS directories internally on my hard disk. Uh, you go and watch this, he will show you how to do, how to delete the directories, which directories you need to delete, so that when you install OBS 24, you won't be running OBS 26. So I deleted all my old directories and then uh, OBS directories and temporary files and all that. And then I installed OBS 24, 24.0.3 I think. And my God, OBS started working. Okay, I still had some connection problems, but I solved that. I figured it out that my uh, video capture card my video capture card cannot drive my monitor, 12 inch monitor. So I have to use the HDMI splitter to split the HDMI signal coming out of my camera into two. One goes to my HDI monitor, 12 inch monitor and the other comes to the video capture card. And the video capture card then drive, uh, sends the information through the USB cable, USB cable to my computer, and from there I can run OBS. But I'm so fed up with OBS, I don't want to run OBS anymore. I will stick to Zoom. This is my HDMI splitter. This cable comes out comes from my camera's HDMI output. This one is the power supply for my HDMI splitter. And on this side, it splits into two. So we have one cable, one cable going, going to my 12 inch monitor, this guy. And the other cable going to my HDMI video capture card with the audio, right? And what it does is it converts the HDMI signal to a USB signal, right? And uh, that is now picked up by Zoom or OBS. So I've now shown you why I prefer Zoom over OBS and what are the difficulties you will have trying to use OBS, especially on Windows 10. And the other thing I've shown you is the video capture card. If you're buying some cheap video capture cards, beware, there will be connection problems. And in my case, I had to use a splitter to get uh, a good signal. That means the, my computer wasn't rejecting the output of the video capture card and it could deliver it to uh, Zoom and uh, OBS. I, I do not know whether the more expensive uh, video capture cards will give you all these problems but once it is, once you have set it up and it's working okay correctly for you, I would suggest you lock it in position or mount it or in a box or something so that nothing can touch it or loosen the connection or anything else, right? Because every time you switch on, you don't want to go around fiddling with the cables and trying to get things working again, which is what I have been doing over the last few days. So, uh, it's worth it.
if you are willing to put up with the struggle, the the budget equipment, the cheapo equipment, is is worth it. And uh, especially if you can get good quality uh, video signal out of it, it's worth it. But for my YouTube videos, I don't use a video capture card. I will directly record on an SD card because the picture quality is really fabulous. The next follow-up video, which will be on, uh, hopefully, I will be doing one on uh, webcam and camera setup and lighting and sound quality so that when you go into a conference or a meeting you are clearly seen and your voice is clearly heard bye check out my video on left mic muffler Check out this playlist, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell and do check out the links below for more information.